Peace and blessings. I'm Markeisha. For those of you who are new and those of you who are not, welcome back. I'm the owner and the creator of the products available on www.bymarkeishafountain.com. I'm coming to you guys today to talk to you about our sea moss. On my website, I do have dried sea moss that is wild harvested and organic from St. Lucia. If you're not familiar with what sea moss is, it is an algae and it's found in the sea. Some people farm raise it, but I don't sell farm raised product. Mine is wild harvested. It does contain 92 of the minerals that your body needs to thrive. I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn our dry sea moss into a sea moss gel today. And on my website, I do have two ounce, eight ounce, and one pound packages available. But today I will be showing you how to turn it into a gel using the two ounce pack. When you purchase the sea moss from our website, you'll receive it in a dry seal mylar bag. And this is what the two ounce pack looks like. It basically has the label on the front and the directions on the back. And I'll be following the, the directions today to show you how to prepare it. Once you receive your package, you'll notice that it has the label on the front with the directions on the back. You'll want to go ahead and open it up and pull it out to inspect it just to make sure that everything's okay. You know, this is a living food from the sea, so anytime I get anything, I just like to thoroughly inspect it, so I suggest you do the same. You'll need a bowl large enough to hold your sea moss as well as spring water. I do suggest spring water. Then a container that will hold your sea moss. This is a 32 ounce jar, and this is two 16 ounce wide mouth jars. As I said before, our two ounce bag makes roughly 32 ounces of sea moss gel, but you can make more depending how, on how thick you like it. I'm just showing you how those look. Then next you'll want to rinse it off. You'll notice that the sea moss does have salt on it and that's what you're doing. You're rinsing off the salt in any debris that may be on it from the ocean. This is wild harvested sea moss. So there could be sand or salt on, on it. And you wanna just look it over and make sure that everything's okay. And as I said before, it's like literally a handful of moss. Now you'll wanna transfer it to the bowl that you're gonna soak it in. I always give it a second look. As you see here, there was a little bit of something from the ocean on it. And you'll just wanna pick that off and you know rinse it off. I didn't show that on camera. You'll want to make sure that you fully cover the sea moss with your spring water. And I'm going to be using saran wrap, but you can use a lid or anything that you would like to cover it because you're going to need to sit this on the counter overnight. Now, generally, if you sit it on the counter overnight, that's long enough for it to soak. But sometimes it takes a little bit longer because once it balloons up, you may have pieces that stick out. This was the halfway point. I'm just showing you guys what it looked like. At the halfway point, those two ounces made this full bowl of the sea moss that we're going to turn into a gel. Now that it's ready, I'm transferring it to the sink and I'm going to just be taking a look at it and prick a piece of it just to make sure that it's ready. And it's at this point I was saying that if it was not ready, then I would pour more water on it and allow it to soak longer. You shouldn't have to tug on it. It should break very easily. That's how you know it's ready. Then you want to go ahead and pour this water off and just, you know, inspect it to look it over. I always double check everything. You can never go wrong. Just, you know, making sure that it is fully clean. You shouldn't have any issues. It's looking good here and it's ready to go. I'm just pretty much showing you guys what it looks like. And I'm also going to break a little piece to show you that, hey, it's ready. Good to go. And I'm going to start by adding a little bit of the sea moss to my blender at a time. If you have a stronger blender, you can put more, but I like to do a little bit and add the water and then blend. I'm showing you that I was doing a little bit at a time. The directions that I provide you on the back, it's 
one cup of sea moss to one and a quarter cup of water but I'm using way more so that's why you see me adding way more water and I'm going ahead and blending this up I'm going to make sure it's smooth before I add any more to my blender you have the option to either go ahead and put this in your container that you're going to store it in or add more. At this point, I normally add more. You do see it's very smooth. It's a pudding consistency. And this is the consistency that I'm aiming for when I blend it up. But I'm going to go ahead and add more moss to my blender and some more water and go ahead and blend everything together into it. All of the moss is smooth the way that I want it. And I'm just showing you guys that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it up into my containers that I'm going to be storing it in. And this does last about four weeks in the refrigerator. You do have the option to mix in fruits or herbs such as bladder rack or uh, spirulina or any other helper herb that you may like. You actually have more sea moss left. So you can add that in to make one more jar. I did have a little bit left in the blender pitcher as well. You want to store, store this in your refrigerator for three to six hours. It really doesn't take that long, you know, and it'll be ready to go the next day. And this is what it looks like once it's gelled up. I'm just going to show you guys so that you have an idea what that looks like. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, this does keep for about four weeks in the refrigerator. I normally have one to two heaping tablespoons a day or I add it to my smoothies or to my juices or to any soups or sauces that I may be making. And like always, I want to tell you guys, thank you for watching. I send you peace, love, and light wherever you may be on your journey. Peace.